If you are interested in knowing how to make soap with sodium silicate, this video is for you. Make sure you watch the video to the end. Let's establish the ingredients for this production. Oil 232 grams Caustic soda 32 grams SLS 46 grams Water 77 grams Sodium silicate 46 grams Sodium lactate 24 grams Safety precautions Before starting it's important to take necessary safety precautions. Caustic soda is a strong alkaline substance that can cause skin and eye irritation. So it's important to handle it with care. Wear protective gear such as gloves, goggles, and a long-sleeved shirt to minimize exposure. Soap is a sort of a fatty acid. It is produced through a chemical reaction known as saponification. Where fats and oil react with a strong alkaline to form soap and glycerin. Let's add color to the oil and stir. Stir very well until the oil until the color mixes very well with the oil. You can add the color to your choice. When you add it, you add it bit by bit to know if it's okay for you. If the color is okay for you, you can leave it. Stay very well. It's time to add our caustic soda. We have already dissolved the caustic soda before starting this video so that it can cool down before we use it. Add the caustic soda and stir. Stir very well until it gets to a trace. You will have to stir for a while before the solution we get to a trace. Add sodium silicate and stir. Sodium silicate is also known as water glass. It's a compound composed of sodium oxide and silicate. It serves as a useful additive in soap making for several reasons. One, it increases hardness of the soap. It enhances cleaning power. Terry, uh, it acts like a stabilizer, helping to prevent the soap from being too soft. 
add sodium lactate um stir it's time to add our dissolved sls we have dissolved the sls in water before starting this production so just add it and stir sls is a foaming agent you have to soap to foam or to lather that well stir very well make sure that all the particles dissolve there are different sls rice there is bigger ones and there is small ones this one that i'm using now is the smaller ones but when i dissolve it in water i notice that the thing becomes very thick so i have to be pouring more water see yet it was still thick you can get sls liquid from the market but sls liquid is scarce so or you get sls the bigger sls rice the bigger one because that was the one i used some time ago and okay it worked pretty good when i added this one the face of the soap changed so it's time to pour it into the mud pour it and allow it to solidify for 24 hours before unmolding it if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe now and turn on the bell notification so that any time i post you will be among the first to be notified and hit the like button so that youtube can recommend this video to other viewers thank you you can also share this video to your friends and family thank you as you do so This after 24 hours and we are about to mold the soap now. Look at what the soap looks like. You can see how beautiful it is. But it, it still have all those uh, whitey substance from SLS. But still yet, it came out pretty good. I thought that the soap will be completely bad. But it still makes sense. So, one of my new subscribers said that uh, as you show them how the thing forms after I finish making the soup, so that's why I'm running this test. You can see the thing like that as well. You can see, and as you keep the soap for three to four weeks for it to dry well, it will form more. If you are just seeing my video for the first time, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as for my subscribers, either old or new subscribers. Know that you can ask me to make any type of soap for you within my niche and I will do it. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.